Time to have a look and see how I'm getting on painting my howling banshees. Next speaking and welcome to this video. Right today we're going to have a look and see how I'm getting on painting my Howling Banshees. Before that though if you would like to keep up to date with the wonders of Warhammer 40k then please give me a sub and hit the bell button so you don't miss an upload. Okay so today we're going to look at the Howling Banshees. I'm going to go table down in just a second. Um, I put in about 10 hours work onto these models. Not a huge amount but a reasonable amount and I'm very happy how they're coming along. Uh, now I just want to say just a massive thank you to everyone who has joined in the Guess It Painted Challenge. It's much appreciated uh, and there's still time to enter if you still want to. All the information for the challenge can be found here. If you're interested go and check that out. Right let's go table down and see the work that I've been doing. Okay so here are the Banshees. This is what they're looking like and straight away I know exactly what you're thinking. You're thinking what the Yes, I've got bright pink hair. Don't worry, that isn't going to be pink when they're finished. It's going to be purple. Now, I'm going to talk about the hair in a second, but first of all, I went over uh, the grey armour with Agrat's Earthshade, um, and I'm really happy how it's looking. It's got that nice bony colour already, and once I go in with the bleach bone and then the highlights, I think it's going to look really nice. So I'm very happy with that. Now, that actually did take longer than I thought. I have to admit, I thought I'd just be slapping on the, the wash. Uh, but then I realised I had to be very careful make sure that that wash didn't go onto the white because uh, those white tabards I, I want to have a nice bright white. And also on my Exarts they have white shoulder pads uh, so again I had to be a little bit careful with that wash so it did take a lot longer than I thought. Um, I then went in and I painted the hair. So I painted the hair with a warlock purple, this uh, really bright purple. Uh, and the idea behind it is what I'm going to do next is I'm actually going to dry brush that hair with white. And then I'm going to wash it with the purple wash. And that will give me some nice shading, some nice highlights, and change that pink colour into a really nice purpley colour. It's how I've done all of the hair on my outer army, and I think it looks really nice. Uh, so that's the next stage. However, actually base coating that hair uh, took some time. Uh, a, because I had to make sure that I didn't get that pink onto the, the bony colour. And also where there's uh, so many ridges etc on there. I had to make sure that every single section of that hair in all the grooves and ridges etc uh, were painted pink. So that again did actually take quite some time. I then went in and I blacked in all of the guns. Uh, and again I just had to be really really careful making sure I didn't get that black around their hands uh, on that bone colour because it's going to be very difficult to touch up that bone colour uh, with the sort of technique that I use which is effectively just washing the primer. Um, but so far I think they're looking really good, I'm really really happy with them. Uh, like I said I'm going to work on the hair next. Um, I've got some more black areas to do, so all of the sort of pouches um, that they've got on their bodies, they've got to all be black and all the straps. Of course I need to introduce the gold as well. Uh, and then, once I've done all that, I'm going to be ready to start highlighting the bone colour. Uh, so, lots more to come, but I'm very happy with their progress. Hope you like how they're looking, and I'll see you in the next update. Beam me up! <laughs> 